We're here today in a beautiful pond ecosystem to talk about the needs of living things. All living things require basic elements to survive. They are water, oxygen, food for both nutrients and energy, and suitable living habitat. And today we're going to use a fantastic Canadian example to talk about all those things, the beaver. Now, a beaver is a mammal, just like humans, and they need oxygen. They happen to get their oxygen from the air. The air is loaded with oxygen, so as beavers breathe, they get the oxygen that they need for their cellular functions. Uh, I'm standing in a bunch of water, and it just so happens that uh, there's a lot of fish and a lot of uh, other organisms like freshwater shrimp that get their oxygen from the water because water, oxygen is dissolved in the water. Now, uh, what about the need for water itself? Human beings can't go for more than a couple of days without water. They need to drink water so that their cells can do the functions that they need. Uh, it's not uncommon in a pond like this to see all sorts of organisms like moose come along to take a drink and the beavers are obviously drinking this water that they're swimming in. Now, what about food? Food is an interesting one because food serves a dual purpose. We all require vitamins and minerals in our diet. If we don't get them, our cells will die off. So, when you see uh, beavers chewing away at, uh, at a tree, they're not only trying to cut it down, they're also eating the bark. Here's a branch that uh, uh, beavers have stripped clean of, of the bark, and the bark is nutritious. It's loaded with uh, vitamins and minerals. Food also provides a great source of energy. Our cells need energy to be able to function. So there are all sorts of pond plants. Uh, for instance, there'll be uh, duckweed floating on the, on the surface. You may see ducks eating that weed on the surface of the water. Uh, moose will come into a pond like this and dip their head in the water or along the edge of the pond will eat plants and they're getting all sorts of great nutrition from, from those, those plants. Uh, beavers, I already mentioned how they will eat bark, but they also eat all sorts of roots and nutritious plants to get the energy that they need. That leaves us with la the last thing and the most interesting thing, and that's suitable living habitat. Uh, beavers have a very, very unique way of getting the living habitat that they need. They can't survive uh, the winter, the cold winter exposed just like us, so what they do as they build a lodge, and I happen to be standing right next to a beautiful beaver lodge. So what the beavers will do is they'll take the many trees that they cut down, and often what you'll see beside a, a beaver pond is you'll see trees cut down, and then you'll see a path, and they call these beaver runs. And the beavers will create these paths by uh, dragging big trees all the way down to the water. And then what they'll do is cut the, the tree into more manageable pieces, and then these pieces are shoved by the beaver into mud and mixed together with other branches to form a very stable lodge. Underneath all those branches and mud, the beavers dig out a hollow, and it stays beautifully the same temperature all year round for those beavers. So they will cover their needs for temperature, but they'll also have fantastic protection from predators inside this lodge. Uh, if I wanted to get in here to get at the beaver, I would have to do a lot of work to be able to dismantle this lodge. So, the beaver, a fantastic example of an animal that builds its own suitable living habitat. It's also a fantastic example of all the things that we've talked about that living things need water, oxygen, and food for both nutrients and energy.